I've seen zero data to date. Zero data to date. What's up guys, Mike Dolce here. I wanted to do a review on the movie The Game Changers. Why? Because you've asked me to do this. Dolce, Dolce, Dolce. What do you think of the movie The Game Changers? Now, interestingly, I had the producer of The Game Changers, Mr. James Wilkes, on my podcast, The Mike Dolce Show. That episode will be released soon. It's a 90-minute discussion between James and I of the plant-based philosophy versus the rest of the world. Now, what I said to James is he and I probably believe 90% or so of the same things. We agree, if nothing else. I said I really wanted to discuss that 10% area that we don't agree and really let's let's offer the the listener offer the viewer the insight as to why and where we come from these belief systems now outside of that i wanted to tell you very briefly my thoughts a uh, hot take on the movie the game changers lots of controversy about this movie in that you're getting a bunch of professional athletes really to discuss the benefits of a, a plant-based lifestyle and that comment right there is the game changer if you will the movie the game changers really discusses discusses a plant-based nutrition plan. Now, very rarely in the movie The Game Changers do you hear anyone say that we humans should go 100% vegan. The most accurate statement or the most frequent statement I heard was the benefits of a mostly plant-based diet. Now, what does that mean to me? I'm an, I am an omnivore. I believe in plant-based nutrition and the benefits of animal-based nutrition. We can debate the different, you know, idiosyncrasies of each of those philosophies, but when I look at best practices amongst all humans across all background and goal sets, I see the dramatic benefit of an omnivoric diet above a, a carnivore-style diet or a vegan plant-based style diet, okay? That's where I stand. No bias, or that is my perspective, but my perspective is based upon experience and education. I also think that James Wilkes of The Game Changers believed the same thing. So I wanted to talk about bias with you, and that's the biggest thing I'm seeing right now with reviews of the movie are saying that the producers of the movie were biased towards a plant-based nutrition plan. Duh, of course. Why do you think they're spending $10 million to produce a movie about the benefits of a plant-based nutrition plan? They have a specific bias because they have a belief system based upon, hopefully, their experience and their education. Just as you have a general bias towards what your lifestyle is like right now. Same thing. So if you're going to produce a movie, it's probably going to be about the thing or the message that you want to get out that you believe in, especially a documentary style movie like this, which is like an ed docucation or something, whatever they call it nowadays, I don't know. But anyway, the point of this movie is to share the benefits of plant-based nutrition for humans. And they really did focus primarily on elite athletes. Now, what I can say, and this is all fact here, this is an opinion right now, so I'll try and give you my opinion and then also tell you my fact. Fact there are many more vegans and plant-based athletes competing at the highest level of all athletic endeavors than there are strictly carnivore or animal-based practitioners. What does that mean? That means when you look amongst all the athletes on the planet and especially the highest performing athletes on the planet, you will see more plant-based athletes competing at higher levels than you will see carnivores. In fact, you'll almost see no meat-based, animal-based, carnivore-style athletes competing at the highest levels. You will see plant-based athletes, but with regards to all athletes, the plant-based or vegan athletes are a very, very minuscule percentage of the total omnivoric philosophy within the, the athletic world. What does that mean? That means nearly every athlete follows a, a omnivoric style diet, plant-based and animal-based nutrition. Nearly everyone. I'd say the high 90s, including all subgroups, all subgroups would fall into a single digit percentage when we say an omnivoric type of meal plan for elite athletes versus the exclusionary carnivore style or the exclusionary vegan style. Although there's way more vegans than there are carnivores. And why is that? Why is that? 
Because athletes compete to win. They compete to win. What is best is what they do. If they compete to win and plant-based foods allow them win, they'd eat plant-based foods. Because they compete to win, if they could eat only animal-based foods, of course they would only eat animal-based foods. But that's not how they win. That's not how they perform their best. That does not optimize their performance. An omnivoric lifestyle does. But I do see the nutritional benefits of an omnivoric lifestyle. But I will say, wild-caught animal-based nutrition is, is best, ideal, and that's about the only kind I try and have, which is why I'm a fisherman, which is why I moved to the beach, so I can literally wake up and go fish every single morning, or I can walk up to the fishmonger and buy fresh fish off the boat every single day. Also, I live in the garden state, which means two, three, four times a week, my family and I are constantly visiting local farms, buying produce. We really do try and practice what we preach. We do our best in this modern world, right? Because in this modern world, it's harder, it's more challenging, it's more difficult. But I, what I will say, which is very important, James Wilkes, producer of The Game Changer, said he does not identify as a vegan. And we talk about this during our 90-minute interview on The Mike Dolce Show. He even said he eats mostly plant-based, 90, 95, 99%, as much as possible, and he's under the belief that more plants are better. I agree with that. It's funny how you can actually agree with someone on so many statements, but then I do push into and say, but what about wild-caught salmon? Wild elk? free range, farm fresh eggs. Why not? Well, let's start with the egg white. Let's start with the, the two ounce slice of wild caught salmon. I've seen zero data to date, zero data to date that shows any ill effect of wild caught animal products moderately mixed into your overall nutrition plan. And in fact, this is proven successful from the world's longest living populations to which we will just say blue zone because blue zone territories are very easy to look up. But of the people who live the longest and have the least amount of disease and illness during that time, by and large, they eat omnivoric diets. Now, they don't eat follow the traditional American diet and the vegans will be like, that's not true. Vegans outlive regular meat eaters because meat eaters eat McDonald's. Those aren't the fuckers that I'm talking about. I'm talking about people like me who are intelligent or informed, educated, experienced. We're very calculated with our food choices. And I've yet to see one study that shows me why truly wild-caught salmon is bad in moderation. A guy my size, 212 pounds of sexiness. I eat two to four ounces of meat at a sitting, two to four times a day. I'll have two whole eggs and two, four, six egg whites with it. I will throw down 20 grams of a cold process, cross flow, micro filtered whey protein isolate, maybe 30 to 50 days out of the entire year when I'm in an A type hard training phase. Animal products in our nutrition plan combined with a wide vast amount of plant-based products that's my stance that's my bias now to look at the game changers movie I enjoyed the movie I felt the movie had a great perspective it had great heart it had a lot of good compelling information that would test my own belief system 
educate me, be intriguing enough for me to actually look into, thereby making me a more informed consumer, a more informed human. So when I do choose the foods to ingest, I'm making a more informed choice. Isn't that a good thing? Of course it is. So all in all, the full review, I thought the Game Changers movie was great, taking it for exactly what it is. It is a suggestion to eat more plant-based nutrition in your life. Can anyone say that's wrong? Of course not. Now, you want to hear the full 90-minute discussion and a debate at times because James and I, we kind of had strong disbeliefs in, in certain areas or disagreements in certain areas. Make sure you listen to the Mike Dolce show with producer of the Game Changers, James Wilk. Next week, that show will be out in its entirety. If you have any questions, any thoughts, any comments about the movie or specific questions about the movie, in my opinion, leave them in the comment section below. Also, subscribe, thumbs up, click that bell for notifications, and until next time, boom!